Look at that Hollywood smile. Just a little pre-product review joke. Everybody, today on Tony's Reviews, we are reviewing the As Seen on TV Perfect Smile. This As Seen on TV Perfect Smile was $14.99 at the As Seen on TV outlet. I will have a link in the description so you can order this from Amazon if it's something that you're interested in buying. Today we're going to review this As Seen on TV Perfect Smile and see if it works. On the back it shows some pictures of people with bad teeth or maybe some accidents they've had with their teeth and it shows that you can instantly fix that by using this device. And you can see right through the box here, it actually shows it, and it looks like it's a set of veneers. It says that they custom fit and they go in easily. This is something that currently I don't have any use for. But I've often thought, what if I had a dental accident and I needed something right now and I couldn't get into the dentist you know, for a couple of days or maybe in a week or so? Well, when I saw this item, I thought, that would be nice if you like knocked a tooth out or chipped a tooth or something, you pop this thing in. I don't know how well the thing's gonna work, so I wanted to buy it, test it out, and see what it looks like when it's actually inside your mouth. So today we're gonna check it out and see if for $14.99 you can actually get a good fix for your teeth, maybe a temporary fix for your teeth that uh, you, know, you can use so that you can be presentable in public. So anyways, let's get to unboxing this thing. Okay, there's not a whole lot in here. It looks like there's a little set of something in here. The box actually has instructions on the front of the box, but it looks like we've got some more detailed instructions right here inside the box. And then here we have the veneers themselves. And I'm sure you guys can't really tell from just the video here, but this is a little case for the veneers, and it's a little rickety plastic thing. It doesn't feel like it's very good quality. And then we have the veneers right here. Here are the veneers really up close and personal. And I'll show you the back of them too. There's like a little ledge here. Check that out. So I'm gonna read the instructions in a little more detail just to make sure I don't screw this thing up and then we'll test them out. The instructions say I've gotta boil these for two minutes to get the molding compound to soften up. And then I've gotta let them sit for about 15 seconds and then shove them on my teeth. So let's do it. The water is boiling now, so it's time to put the veneers in and we're supposed to leave these in for two minutes. Our two minutes is just about up, and I'm supposed to pull these out and let them set for 15 seconds before I put them in my teeth. I'm gonna let them sit for 15 seconds. I'm watching the uh, clock on my phone here. It says you're not supposed to leave those on your teeth for more than 30 seconds. I think I had them on there for about 20, 25 seconds maybe, but it did make an impression on there. You can see it impressed into that white stuff that was on there. I'm supposed to stick these in cold water now, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I went through the process and I followed the instructions to a T. All right, I want you guys to see the finished product here. This is what they look like. This is without me doing any kind of doctoring to these after I cooled them off. And you can see this, this little uh, hard edge here. It helps to keep the teeth in, but at the same time I've put these in. And you can see it actually pushes them off your teeth a little bit. Mrs. Smith, may I have your daughter's hand in marriage? And it's caused a lisp. Okay, so round one, these things didn't turn out too hot. It does say that you can reheat them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat them back up and see if I can move some of this wax around. I went ahead and went back to the kitchen and I reheated these things up like it says you can do on the packaging. And I reformed them. And I did it not once, but twice. 
Okay, the second time I did it, it just smeared the stuff out completely to where it just was impossible to work with. And then this is the result of the third time I did it. So I'm gonna let you judge for yourself here. These are the veneers in right now. And you know, maybe if you knock the tooth out and you're just trying to walk around town and uh, maybe not talk to anybody, <laughs> they may not notice that you've knocked a tooth out. Uh, but uh, if you're gonna be talking to people, obviously these things are gonna look like they're fake. I follow the directions and I pushed them up against my teeth exactly like it said on the packaging and I stuck them in cold water and I let them set up. When you first put them on your teeth, they feel like they're really conforming to your teeth and they look actually pretty good whenever you first you know, put them in when they're warm. But after you cool them off, I notice that the paraffin or whatever this stuff is that's in here, it's like it expands. Obviously it is going to expand a little bit because it's cooling down, but it's like it expands and then it pushes out a little bit farther. So you, you, uh, you end up with the effect, do they stay in? Yeah, they stay in pretty good but you end up with the effect of them sticking out too far and you've got a lisp when you talk. And I think obviously I've got something going on with my teeth right now. If somebody was to look at me, I think they would obviously see, oh, this guy's got a bad fitting set of dentures or he has uh, got in a pair of As Seen on TV veneers. <laughs> so for my opinion, these are not an item that you would want to buy. And and I don't know how well you can see this at home, but down here at the bottom, you can actually see some of this uh, waxy stuff that forms on here. Actually, it puts itself down here at the bottom of the teeth, you know, and it's not supposed to do that. So you can't really see the natural ridgings of the teeth either. So that's kind of a stinker. And I really did try to work that stuff out. And you just have this small window to work with because you've got to get that stuff pushed in there and then get it in the water so that it sets up because you don't want this stuff to be like spread out and then it not conform to your teeth. I'm just an average guy. I don't have any special skills with dentistry or anything. I tried to follow packaging to a T. Another problem I had with these As Seen on TV Perfect Smile veneers is that the little waxy stuff that's in here actually stuck to my teeth. And I didn't leave them in for any longer than they said that you're allowed to, but it still kind of like got wedged to my teeth. So I had to use uh, floss to get it out. So that's another kind of negative. I really didn't like that at all. It was very irritating to me to get some of this stuff wedged in my teeth. So in my opinion, the Assy on TV Perfect Smile shouldn't go in here. So after trying these out and giving them the benefit of the doubt and you know really trying to rework them a couple of times, in my opinion, the Assy on TV Perfect Smile veneers are not a good solution to a dental problem. All right. So that being said, I will still put a link to these in the description if you're interested in trying these out yourself. They look nice in the packaging, but on me, they didn't turn out so hot. So anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this product review video today, please click on the above link. It'll take you to some more of my As Seen on TV product reviews. I want to thank you so much for watching today, and God bless. I got a 1987 Buick Regal I'd love to sell you.